Police officer guilty of gross misconduct over tweets interpreted as racist and sexist. The tweets concerned the tragic Belgrave Middleway crash which killed six, Brexit, the London terror attack and the Windrush petition. A police constable has been found guilty of gross misconduct over tweets he posted which were interpreted as racist and sexist. That of one Edward Pitt would have been dismissed over the tweets, had he not already resigned ahead of his misconduct hearing on Wednesday, November 20th. The married constable who had 12 years of service with West Midlands Police before quitting over the allegations made comments on politically charged topics within the news using his personal Twitter. The tweets, between June 2017 and December 2018, concerned the tragic Belgrave Middleway crash which killed six, Brexit, the London terror attack and the Windrush petition. Sharing an article about Australia's strict immigration laws following a terror attack, he said, How many terrorist attacks have you had again? We can gladly swap governments if you like. He shared an article which said the Belgrave Middleway crash driver had been demonized for being Asian and commented, For f asterisk 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 sake, not because of anything else, no. In another tweet he posted that the government were prioritizing investigating far-right anti-Islam activist Tommy Robinson instead of probing extremists. The misconduct hearing heard how he had posted about the Windrush petition, retweeting Lenny Henry to say, Firstly, sign the ding. This was said to have been interpreted as a racist comment against the Caribbean community, but Mr. Pitt claimed ting was a well-known phrase among young people. He also commented on a video of a camel being slaughtered with machetes during the Muslim festival of Eid, with the phrase, Religion of Peace. A tweet concerning us rapper Nicki Minaj was posted to, but Mr. Pitt says it had been intended to be tongue-in-cheek with his wife. Another read that he was banking on a couple of snow days off work, as the heavy snow shut schools. In another tweet, sharing a video of a violent attack against a child, he wrote, If I was sitting in that waiting room I would f asterisk asterisk that geezer up no questions asked. Scum. But he said he would never act on it, the hearing heard. Responding to this tweet, Mr. Walsh, prosecuting, said, This certainly gives the impression that you approve of the use of violence in certain situations. The 12 posts went unnoticed amid some 6,000 tweets over six years until a member of the public alerted the police watchdog. Mr. Pitt worked at various stations during his career including Ocox Green, Billisley, Kings Heath, Chardin and Mosley. Three tweets were said to have been posted while on duty, however PC Pitt contested this, saying he had been on a break. Mr. Pitt accepted that the tweets were all made from his account and sent by him, admitting he was regretful of what he had posted. Mr. Walsh, prosecuting, said, There's a clear message that if you do this kind of thing, your job must be on the line. He pleads both naughty and ignorance, but I do not accept that as mitigation. He used his Twitter daily for six years, mainly commentating on boxing and football including his Birmingham-based team. His account was largely private to his 150 followers, but during matches including a derby between Aston Villa and Birmingham City, he would make it public to interact with other fans.